welcome to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to walk you through how I made these amazing and unique coastal inspired coasters. Let's get started. I started this project off with some awesome broken shells that I found at Michael's and I just mixed them into resin and I keep filling them into the circle coaster molds that I got from Amazon. I do have them in my Amazon link below if you guys are interested in that. It does not charge any extra to you. It just only helps to support my channel. So I have all my products in the Amazon that you could possibly get there. So if ever you guys need some resin projects, it would be amazing if you can go through my Amazon affiliate link. So that way you can help support this channel and keep these videos going. After I laid that first layer, I waited until it fully cured and then I laid in some of the beautiful midnight blue from Patty's Pigments. That also is in the description below. You cannot get that at Amazon, but you can go through their link. So I have that listed down below. Now I mixed all of that up and then I did just a touch of white So now I'm just kind of mixing that in and rubbing that against the blue so that way the blue and the white just sort of blend together for this base later. I did not add any more clear. I just let that cure just like that. It took about mm, 12 hours before I came in with another layer. Now I'm doing just clear and I'm gonna wait for that to self level and then I'm gonna do another nice wave right on top. I take that white, this time there is no glitter mixed into it. I didn't know how it would spread with the glitter on top, so I didn't want to chance that. So I just did regular white glitter or white pigment paste. This is also from the um, Counterculture DIY. It's the Armor Art. And I ended up spreading that out with my heat gun and I noticed that in this circle, everything kind of was bunching together again. Um, it doesn't spread as nicely as it would if you were doing like a large table piece or anything like that. So because the coaster mold was just pushing it back, I decided to go ahead and utilize the Resi Blast. The Resi Blast helps to sort of force those cells. And since it's within a contained mold, you're not going to have any issues with pits. When I was demolding this one, I didn't have any issues except for one of the molds, um, but I just sort of kept playing around with it and got it out just fine. I do normally use a mold release, but I forgot because I was in a hurry. And you can see that the Resi Blast created some really beautiful cells on these particular pieces. Now the shells, I did not think to flatten them all down. So some of them were poking up. So I do have to do an extra layer here. So what I did was I, protected the bottom with the monster latex. And then I went ahead and did another clear layer. So before doing that though, I did have to sand all the edges, make sure that everything was as flat as possible. So the resin would just flow over the sides and then whatever stuck to that latex would just pop right off. Thank you. 
after the clear layer, here they are. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I absolutely love these. I put a couple okay. rubber dots on the bottom and so you can see through a couple spaces, they are transparent. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.